Let's take a look at what's thirsty. happening in Northwest Arkansas. Okay, first we have some really great news that we want to share about the 8th Annual Give Kids a Miracle Telethon. Of course, we did that yesterday. It started at 5 a.m. and ran all the way through 10.30 p.m. last night. That telethon is to raise money for Arkansas Children's Northwest. Yes. So the organization set a goal of $25,000, and the telethon organizers were able to help exceed that goal to raise a total of, are you ready, Drum roll, please. Twenty-eight thousand three hundred and six dollars. Awesome. So thank you so much to everyone who donated uh, for the telethon yesterday. We appreciate you. The fundraiser was a success. Of course, our stations, KWN Fox Twenty-Four, got to share many stories of children who have received care at ACNW and the volunteers from the community who want to help the hospital. So thank you so much yes. to the volunteers, everybody who donated, and we'll see you next year for That's right. the Give Kids a Miracle Telethon. Yeah, we couldn't do it without you. Way to go, everybody. Awesome stuff. You might remember we had Sharon Killian and Dr. Curry Banton on the show yes. this week talking about this really cool art and rice event. It's an educational rice tasting event. You're going to be treated to cuisines from Southern to Caribbean to African cultures. The event takes place at Art Ventures in Fayetteville today at 5 o'clock, and it is absolutely free to attend, although donations are welcomed and encouraged. We had some of their rice on the show. Mm. Delicious. It Delicious. was so good. I wish we still had some. Yes. Uh, but it was very, very, very good. Uh, the Hog Eye Marathon and Relays have announced their theme for 2023, and it is The Race is Right. Right, and features a 5K, a uh, 10.5 relay, and a half marathon. The races will take place on April 15th and the 16th to train for these races. The organizers are offering several Saturday group runs. Leaders will be going out um, at different paces and different distances. So whether you're a beginner runner or a run walker or an experienced runner, you can head to the Shiloh Square in Springdale this Saturday at 9 a.m. If you missed this one, that's okay because there's going to be another one um, happening. So yes. you've got some time. It's not until April, uh, so you have a couple Saturdays to get you ready for the marathon. That's right, yeah. And here's a reminder that Emmy-winning composer and friend of the show, Amos Cochran, bringing his sonic dreamscapes to Van Buren. Amos and the Fort Smith Symphony String Quartet will present a collection of his compositions for the Perspectives Chamber concert called Sonic Dreamscapes. It's going to happen at 7 o'clock on Saturday at King Opera House. Tickets are 10 bucks. There will be two sets of music with a 15-minute intermission in the middle there. Amos has been on our show several times. And you, if you want a little bit of a taste of his music before attending that concert, you can find him and his music over on our social media. I mean, this sounds amazing, whatever we're listening to. Yes. It's like a perfect kind of Friday, slow down, put you in a good vibe uh, for the weekend. You got it. Now, today is the last day to sign up to be part of Big Brothers Big Sisters 50 Men in 50 Days Challenge. There are currently 50 boys on the list waiting uh, to be mentored here in Northwest Arkansas, and you can help in that wait. We had Laura from the organization on the show, and she spoke to the need uh, for male mentors in our area. Again, today is the last day to sign up for this unique opportunity, so make sure you do it while you can. That's right. Here's some exciting news. The Ungala is headed back to the Amazium this spring, and tickets are on sale right now. The event, of course, is an adults-only night of excitement and interactive experiences, and it's happening on Friday, April 21st. There's going to be unique interactive experiences that are just for the adults, both happening inside and outside of the museum, providing opportunities for grown-ups to give their inner children a night out to play. Proceeds from the Angala do support programs at the Amazium as well as activities. And they make it possible for one in five guests to experience the Amazium for free or reduced cost. You can get your tickets right now for the event. It always sells out. It's a fun time. Get them while you can. We always have such a great time such at Angela, so make sure you join us at the event um, this year.